Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a VLOOKUP function equivalent inside of Airtable using the Airtable scripting block. VLOOKUP is a very popular function that is used inside of Microsoft Excel and it would be great to have a similar thing inside of Airtable. Let me give you an example of a use case when it can be helpful for you. Let's imagine that your company has four different products. These are the name of the products and these are the barcodes that are assigned to those products. Inside of the order table, you are getting orders that are coming, let's say, through Integromat inside to your Airtable. And those orders are coming from different vendors. So you are having a vendor A, vendor B, vendor C. And you can see this is one of the orders from them and these are the products that they are ordering. This is order from the second vendor and these are the products you, they are ordering. Unfortunately, every vendor inside of their order is using a different name as the product name. So you can see that the, here they are using some sort of shortcut. For the vendor C, they are using something that is looking like their internal code. So it's very difficult to link it back to your own product. Luckily, they are maintaining one unique identifier of your product, which is the barcode. And you could use the barcode to sort of map it back to your orders here, to your products here. How to do that? Well, obviously you could look at the barcode and then find it out manually and then go into the product link and sort of link it here manually using uh, using Airtable. Obviously, that's not what we want to do. That's a perfect use for a VLOOKUP function. So let's see how can we use the barcode and how can we find the proper name of the product using the table here. The first step is going to be install a block. We're going to select the scripting block and we're going to install it. Let's start from scratch. All right. Let's minimize the windows. And here inside of our scripting windows, we will start writing the script. The first thing we need to do, we need to select our main table, which we'll be searching through. So here you can see this name orders corresponds to the name of the table that you're going to be searching through. The second thing, once we have created variable to create, to link to our table, we also need to create a variable that will be holding all the records from this variable. So you can see that basically I'm taking all the records from this variable and linking this to another variable. The next step is also to mark what is going to be the variable, uh, what is going to be the table that you will be looking through. So your lookup table. You can see that the lookup table is products and we do the same thing. We assign to a new lookup range records all the records from that particular table. Next step is to create a simple uh, for loop. So what we are doing here inside of the for loop is first we are going to go through the main record, through every single record, and we're going to fetch variable, which is item.barcode, which is the name of the barcode. So we are assigning to the lookup value, which is going to be our lookup value, the value of item.barcode column for each of the columns that we'll be going through. Now we are going to use another for loop, which will be iterating through all the records inside of the product table. And if our previous lookup value is matching the value inside of the barcode column, this formula will set a new value, which is called return value, that will be equal to the name of the corresponding corresponding product. After that, the next step is basically to go back to the main table and update the records that corresponds to that particular value that we were looking up with the return value. So we are updating the main table and we are updating the record that we have been searching and we're updating proper name, which corresponds to the column where we want to put our updated value. All right. 
So now the final step is to close all the brackets. All right, and our script is ready. Let's test how it works. Fantastic, you can see all the names of the products from our column has been localized and look, looked up and placed into the proper name column. Now, a second question. Is it possible to use similar function to automatically link to your product rather than having manually to look for the product uh, inside of the link here? Can you automatically use the scripting link to do that? Yes, of, obviously, obviously you can. And let's start doing this by installing another block. It will be another scripting block. All right, and the beginning will be very similar to what we have done in the previous scripting block. So we're going to select the main table. Then we are going to select table that we're going to be looking through. And here again, we are going to do a for loop searching through all the rows on this uh, on this main table and a second for loop that will be searching whether the barcode is matching any of the barcodes on this list however the difference is that once we find our match in this if condition block then instead of matching the name of the product we are going to match the id of the row and this will allow us to link to that particular row in the next step. Okay, so let's add the next block. So in this case, we're going to go back to the main table and instead of updating the proper name column, we are going to update the product column. And because this is a product column which is linked to another table, we're not going to just put the name, we're going to mark inside of them array that this is id and that id equals to our value link id all right now we just need to close off all the brackets and let's run and test the script and you can see the products are localized and linked directly to the product table now you can minimize your scripts, make them make them smaller here inside of the inside of the blocks, and whenever you are receiving new orders from your customers, then you can quickly click on one of those blocks and all the information will be linked to your product, which allows you later to do different types of different types of statistics or roll-ups or other information. I hope this will be useful for you and you can check out the code in the description below the video. Have a good day guys.